It's awesome. It's uh, a great festival. I think the name is just right. It's holidays and it's punk rock. Um, we're having a lot of fun. Ti prideš sam, onda res v bistvu tukaj preživljaš cel teden zajed. Um, z isto mislečimi, pač ne, se pravi s ostalimi bankari, recimo da čez par let iz celega sveta. When you imagine a festival, you basically imagine like a whole lot of fences, whole lot of rules, whole lot of like security checking you every step of the way. So we wanted to create something different. People who come to a punk rock festival, they, they know how to behave. We just let them do what, what they want to do. They co-create the, the whole atmosphere of the festival and the atmosphere of the festival is like on a whole fucking another level. come here, you've heard this is the greatest punk rock festival in Europe. That's a lot of shit to live up to. It's a festival that's about punk rock, with punk rock bands, put on by punk rockers, and, and in a professional manner. So it's, as far as I'm concerned, it's, it's, it's perfect. You know, how many holidays are there when it comes to punk? You can't do better than that. I mean, you can't do better than that audience. One of the best festivals in all of Europe, all the world. It's guaranteed you're gonna have the best week or weekend of your life if you go to Punk Rock Holiday. I think the location here is really special, so it makes everybody really relaxed, which makes it that much better. And I think everybody's really having a good time instead of being like just in a muddy field with nothing else around. So, um, it's just an amazing location. It might be the only place uh, in the world you can go to a punk rock concert at night and go hiking in a national park during the day, so yeah, that's my kind of place. I think the, the idea of like having people like come and stay on holiday and going and seeing punk rock concerts is, is probably better than anything else because they're ready to go off. You know what I mean? They're on fucking holiday. They're on vacation. They're going to do whatever they can to forget about the fucked up week they had, the fucked up work they had, the fucked up life they had. Everything you want in a festival where the audience, like the band before us, played more melodic punk and, and the band before that was a ska band and we're like, oh, you know, we're kind of heavy. Are they going to like it? Blah, blah, blah. And they just loved it. Everybody loved it. Every band got a great reaction. Every band had fun with the audience. The audience had fun with them. And every year since, it's been like that. And it's just, it's what you want. Everything we've heard about Punk Rock Holiday is absolutely delivered. It's been the funnest time. We, we love this place. I was watching from this bench seat right here when Ignite was playing, I was like, is there, there's no barricade, maybe no security, is this possible? There's, I, there's never been a Pennywise show where there's not a barricade in the last 10, 15 years because always problems, right? I'm walking through the mess, the sun is coming up and then, then 
everybody was like, no, you should do a barricade, are you crazy? Like, you know, it's like something will happen and stuff like that. So, but we're like, no, we, we're trying to build like a club show atmosphere. Yeah, it's a bigger stage, like there's more people, but let's try to build like a club show atmosphere. So stage diving and everything. This was the moment where we said like, yeah, this is what we want. You know, this is what we want to carry on. And uh, because when we started in 2012, uh, we moved the barricade and said, uh, let's build a second level that could help like uh, people go on stage and stage dive safely, interact with the bands and everything. So this is what we wanted. And it was a process because we had like briefings before the shows with the security guys, the crew, the band members, you know. But now, after 10 years, I, I think that now everybody knows uh, how to, to act and it's amazing. Like, you can't see anything uh, similar in Europe, I would say, for sure. In 2014, when NoFX came back, uh, their stage manager was like, no, no, we have to put a barricade. Like, the barricade was there, like, just if some bands, like, want, want to use it. And then Kent, the sound guy and the manager of NoFX, was, like, listening from the uh, front of house, and he was like, no, no, what are you guys talking about? No, no, no barricade, just leave it like this, like, it's perfect. And, like, then NoFX played, like without the barricade and it worked perfect and then all the bands were like no we have to use a barricade and we were like no effects didn't use a barricade oh really okay so we're not using a barricade either so that was it Waking up in the burning sun. i saw something i'll never forget the stage was like this and then there was like a piece that dropped down and all the kids climbed up on it and all like sat like this and pretended like they were rowing a boat. I had never seen that in my life. With the most vicious singer in the world. Ah, you know what I mean? Fuck on my, fuck on my, fuck on my today. And they're rowing a boat. I was like, what's going on? It was incredible. Then you have like the, the crowd surfing platform and all that kind of stuff. Like that only exists here. Like no other festival does that. To have that kind of interaction on stage is really one of the most important things for us because that's what we depend on as a band. We're playing the same songs. We've known each other for 25 years, 25 plus years, so to have um, new experiences on stage is just the, the best thing for us, you know? I saw some video from yesterday and I was like, shit, was it so many people on stage? And even I, I think I said something about the bro-him kind of feeling going on here. But it, I never felt, you know, crammed or people in the way or grabbing the mics or... So no, it's, when it is like that, it's perfect. This show isn't, uh, like, mindless. People are cognizant of us on that stage and they're cognizant of each other in the crowd. And again, that's a testament to what punk rock is. Like, it's not about me, it's not about you, it's not about any individual, it's about us as a collective. It's run in a way that's very, very uh, kind of f fan focused, and I think that's great. In 2012, I think, the anti FX started the stage invasion, and right after them, uh, Sico Virol took the flag and uh, they put it on another level. And then I think in 2013, H2O uh, with Lou from Sick of It All, with a song, What Happened. Uh, this is a, a mark, definitely.
it just went on, like every year, but I would say that the wildest one and also the scariest one uh, was the Less Than Jake one. So yeah, definitely um, Less Than Jake, it, it was like kind of different because ska music is like, it's the vibe, so like 300 people were jumping on the same note on stage, so the stage like broke right in front of the, the drummer. So it was like the scariest like shit ever. Like we all thought like, okay, 300 people is gonna die now. Um, but then like nothing happened, like they were all only laughs and stuff. So in the next year we, we started to build the stage like extra strong. Tonight was awesome, it was great. The stage didn't break, but it was still good. We played Die for the Government in the crowd uh, to end the set. And I thought it was a really interesting juxtaposition because most bands that play punk rock holiday end the show with all the kids on the stage and we end the show in the crowd. So it's just proof that both of us, our roles are interchangeable. Yeah. It's one of the craziest festivals like this because everyone's just there to have a good time and it's the right kind of music. There's no barricade. And we're in the middle of nowhere, we're in a beautiful spot. It's hard to explain to normal people that will never see this place what, how awesome this actually is. It's a one-of-a-kind festival. I had seen like an aerial shot from above, and it had the river and the stages, and I was thinking to myself, whoa, like, we're playing here. Like, and we are very much about protecting the environment and stuff, so seeing a place like this with a cool river and really close to the nature, it's amazing. This place is like magical, like unicorn place, you know what I mean? When we wake up, it's the first thing I think of is like, let's go to the river, you know? I'm not, I'm not going to take a shower at this festival. I'm going to be in the river all day, drinking beer, having fun, and, and hanging with the people, so. You go down there, there's kids covered in tattoos, and heads shaved on one side, jumping into the river, and like, wow, it's fantastic, man, it's great. My daughter, when I showed her pictures from previous uh, punk rock holiday festivals, she was like, can I go to that? Can I go to that? And I said, yeah, we're playing it this year. And she was so excited. In fact, this morning we went down to the river and we played in the river for hours. And now she's taking a nap because she's <laughs> passed out to get ready for the show. Most of the bands, like I'm talking like Bad Religion, No FX, Propaganda, like you name it, they take a day off to come to Punk Rock Holiday one day before. I do like rivers, and so last time through I did the river rafting and it was a blast. This time through I floated down the river from some, about a mile up. It's, it's definitely something I'll remember you know, for a long time. Bands usually take like some river activities, for instance, I don't know, Less Than Jake and No FX always go on a rafting, they have a lot of fun. Uh, you have Flamingo and Unicorn games on the river. I think that uh, Lou from uh, Sico Firo was the king of the Flamingo uh, games. 
It's actually a holiday. I, I went down to the river. I floated on a pink flamingo today. It was freaking cold, but it was great. For a year after that, I was called Flamingo Lou, and I didn't like that, but it was funny. <laughs> we take a day off tomorrow and just chill out and enjoy what uh, Punk Rock Holiday is all about. So, Well, I knew that they, they had a beach here, so I just wanted to go to the beach and swim. This is one of the most lovable people that run this festival. We had a great time. Everybody was going off. Everybody represented, and it was a smooth day, and it was good by the water. We went down to, to the river, and of course it's fucking freezing water, but uh, went swimming a little bit, refreshed, feeling good, and ready to take on the world. But late at night, I'll just go naked and take a swim. Hopefully the fish don't die when they see me naked swimming, but we'll see. Jumped in the river, got some sun. It was great. I love this festival. It's such a fun, different environment in the middle of the forest. It's like just cool. We went swimming today, hung out with the campers, and like we're throwing footballs in the in the river and stuff. It was cool. Like nobody bothers them, you know. Of course, like they want to take selfies and stuff, but nobody bothers them. They they can feel relaxed. Everybody's equal at the festival. I think that's the most important thing. I mean, funny, we've got some friends who've come from England just for the holiday punk style -y. So yeah, everyone loves it. Everyone who comes here thinks it's the best thing. All the bands we talk to out on the road, are, this is like their favorite one, man. I mean, where else in the world can you go to a festival you can go hiking or sightseeing or, you, you know what I mean? Floating down in the water, hanging out with your friends. It's, it's pretty surreal. It's, it's, there's, there's nothing like this. I guess that's why they call it Punk Rock Holiday because literally like people come here to have a minute to just cut loose. Just cut loose and just become one with the band and, and the surroundings. It's like you feel you're just playing at a vacation spot. You know, like you're at a campground and you're just having fun. And that's, that's the main thing, it's, it's right in the title. Each year that we went through the campsite, we were like searching for videos and photos. We were like, how much crazier can it get, you know? I think people are getting more and more crazy or artistic with the stuff they do. <laughs> zip lines that go like across the river, like people jumping from the trees with the, with the zip line. We saw like water slides built, volleyball in the middle like of the, of the river. So I think it just gets crazier and crazier each year, you know? It was everything I thought it would be, man. It's like the punk rock fucking Disneyland over here. Punk rock and skateboarding go hand in hand, right? So we connected with the floor ramps, the local guys, that they organize a skate session always. It's a proper fun, also for the skateboarders. few bands that use the skate ramp. I think that Toby from H2O, he had a lot of fun. It's a community.
Everyone's taking care of each other, sharing, hanging out, you know, swimming, partying, watching. It, it, it's like a punk rock summer camp fantasy, you know what I mean? And everybody's together and having fun and there's not really a division between the bands and the fans because this is festival's unique. And I, and I had mentioned this to someone before, whereas in most festivals, yes, dude, ah, Toby. Hi. One of the reasons this fest is cool, right there. Because at most festivals, when the show's over, they push all the bands into some area and the fans go somewhere else. Here when the festival's over, everyone comes together and parties all night at the lake. And, and everybody mixed together and, and I think that's the way it should be. No barriers, you know? One of the things that I've been really excited to learn and see and be a part of with doing Punk Rock Holiday as many times as we have is that there's now a scene and there's now uh, this community of people who come to this show who have met people from other parts of the world and they they make a pilgrimage here every year. And that is what separates this from most other festivals. I think we all ma made some friends at the Punk Rock Holiday and I think we noticed that like, I don't know, 60 or 70% of people that are coming every year back and back and back and you become friends and you sh share the stories. Just the idea that people want to be somewhere together with like-minded people for a whole week and not just one or two days because it's the place to be, you know? This is a place to come with your friends and enjoy it like family and also to get to see some fucking amazing bands. There is so much love from the staff to the crew to every fan in attendance. You've never experienced anything like being in this place. It's a five-day party. <laughs> it's freaking radical. Milo rode down with us in our bus from the previous festival and seeing him on stage while we played because the first time I met him was in 1997 American Warp Tour and he would watch Sick of It All every night which was amazing to me and then uh, I forget which one it was but when we we did one of the Bravehearts we called the Braveheart they called the Wall of Death and, uh, and everybody started, started throwing wood chips at each other and it was like a rain of wood chips I and mean, they're just Amazing. There's footage of that too. It's just so much. Again, it goes back to the same word. It's fun. It's a lot of fun. Sick of it all yesterday had a full on mosh pit in front of the drum set. That was amazing. We can never do that because we don't play New York hardcore. All the bands have fun. You see, like Fat Mike, like he's singing with. Um, the real Mackenzie's, he's like playing bass with Pennywise. All the bands like at Punk Rock Holiday, it's like relieving their youth again. You know, they were touring once like in the 90s to get together. And I think like Punk Rock Holiday became just that, like a gathering of like old friends who meet at the festival in the most like friendly and relaxed atmosphere. So they could just be friends again. It's just fun, it's like the pure thing that every punk band started from. One of the times I played Eric from No Effects got off the drums and gave me the drumsticks and said, here, you play. Of course, I had way too many beers. I made it about 30 seconds and Mike stopped and was like, way too fast. And he kicked me off the drums. So it was good, it was good fun. The bands are so like, welcoming and so relaxed at the festival and they bring their old families, kids, they just go crazy on stage, they're mixing cocktails, they stage diving, they're taking selfies with each other. It's like a one big punk rock family barbecue party. Dance without fear, followed by a cheer. He won't give a fuck, so everybody dance! We brought
about the kids. We brought our whole family here. So it's it's lovely and it's it's like a whole, like you can do the punk rock thing, you can also do the like vacation thing, you do the touristy thing. Brought my family here this time. I've got my old, all my children are here. It's such a diverse group of people here. There's all kinds of old yeah. people, young people, young kids. It's how the punk scene used to be. Kids out here just have so much energy. They're so full of life. Love you, brother. Great show. Uh, they have so much energy. All the bands are great, you know that. And like, it's like a big family out here and a big party, man. It's just cool. It's just great energy. I just love it. It is really starting to feel like home away from home. More than anything, it's about the community of people that are here. So take me to the show, but we can love our own. And even if I'm going sad, I won't be there alone. Cause punk is here to stay. This is my family. With all the bands and all the friends I made along the way. And we will stay this way. I'm getting racked right with cause man in and the felony crew. I'm hanging with electric turtle, Peter and the dude. When you see that cable camera going like from the building to the stage, the torch comes out and it's like, fuck. I think this was the best uh, bro hymn that they ever played. This is something epic that will never happen again, probably. This can only happen at Punker Holiday, right? This show will live will live with me forever. If I die tomorrow, on the way to the airport, I will tell the fucking driver who probably doesn't speak English, I will just fucking punch him in the stomach ten times and say, "Hey, fucker, this was a fucking great night. It was a great fucking night." Anyone that knows Pennywise, anyone that's been here, understands that this was a fucking great fucking night. video that like comes after it's like a memory that you lost at the festival I, I think like the the videos that you do it's the most important thing because the people who don't experience the festival live can't imagine what actually happens at the festival <laughs> Like a crazy thing happened, like it doesn't happen ever before, like where they grabbed me and they, they picked me up and I was, I was crowd surfing, which sounds stupid, because you can't crowd surf a fat guy. But for some reason, like, I felt like I just was looking up at the, at the sky or the lights above, and uh, it's a really important moment for me. I have to say, like in my life, that's the most important pro hymn I ever played accident i didn't know it was going to happen but uh you take every day of your life one day at a time every emotion and uh yeah so that's the best pro i've ever played 
Does anyone else even matter but Pennywise? Uh, pretty much everyone can go home. Time to go home. Get in your cars. Collapse your tents. Deflate your little swans, or the birds or whatever they're called. Go home. The show's not going to be good after this. Pennywise had the best show ever. Dave Pollock just said it. Randy knows it. I cut. Cut. Show's over. Listen, thank you so much for making this a great fucking week. Punk Rock Holiday is real. You guys came from all over the world. You got to watch this all happen. You swear to These guys put on a great show for you guys. Let's give them a round of applause. We've done Punk Rock Holiday every year except for two years, okay? It's very simple. It's simply because we want to be where the best fucking punk rock party in this fucking world is every time we can be. All I know is that I keep coming back and I don't know why. No, I do know why. Because it's the... It's the uh, it's the best punk festival in Europe.